This is our last and final episode in the Dead Sea mini-series. It's coming! When we started, it was still the dawn of the morning. We saw the place where Jesus was baptized. Then we hiked up the steep mountains and explored the ancient ruins of Qumran. We flew over the Dead Sea and explored its shores. But this last episode we reserved for one of the most extraordinary places in the world. Wouldn't you want to live here? The Dead Sea is right there, mountains right here, a giant place just for you. This is a fortress unlike any other on Earth. This is Masada. Masada means a fortification, and that's exactly what it is. It's a fortification on top of a rock mountain plateau, an isolated one for that matter. And it is believed that after David had his meeting with Saul, King Saul, in the caves of Engedi, and he cut part of his garment, that he came up here um, to walk after they departed from each other. So it seems like Masada has a lot of history uh, during the time of David and then during the first century and the Romans and also the Byzantines here because they found a Byzantine church. So it was occupied in different types of history and I'm not surprised because it's a very strategical place to occupy and to be so high above everybody else and they also have somehow brought water up here. So as long as they had water up here, it's a good place to live in. On top of a mountain, they can see anything around them. In 66 AD, the Jews began the Great Revolt. And this place, Masada, had become the refuge place for all the Jewish rebels who wanted to escape from Jerusalem and hide. A few years later, the Romans put a siege on Masada. And after three months, they were able to penetrate the walls only to find burning houses and everybody dead in here. What happened? According to Josephus Flavius, the Jews did not want to get captured and taken into captivity. So what did they do? They killed each other in turn until the last one who had to commit suicide. And they had this belief that death is preferable over a life of infamy. So we're hiking down from Masada on a snake path or a snake road, that's what they call it. This is an ancient road that would go from Masada down, that's how they would get up there and come up there. Probably with a donkey, by foot. So even though we got up with a cable car, that was a nice view, we decided to go down by foot. The real reason for that was to save 30 shekels. 
So we got down from that steep incline and now it's a nice path, more or less uh, kind of straight. And I've got here a little goat that can stop drinking. Big again. Big again. <laughs> Make America big again. Yes, make America big again. I like it. My legs are so tired, they're literally shaking. Look at that. <laughs> I can't control it. I'm in the pool. America big again. You can't take part in something that was ha just happened and done. <laughs> yes! Are you claiming to be a Roman who oppressed the Jews? These are Roman walls? We hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did, subscribe below and put a comment and tell us what would you prefer, the cable car or the snake road. Let's go back up. No. Oh yes, I like it.